Hi, today I'm going to show you a really easy way to play Chuck Berry style rock and roll on your fretless cigar box guitar. Now uh, some fretless guitars have very 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 high action so it's very difficult to press down on the strings and if you do press down on the strings the sound of the wood sounds quite a bit different than the sound of the nut or the sound of a slide. Uh, today we're tuned to G, G, D, G, and there's many different styles for this rock and roll 50s sort of thing. That's one there. We're strumming both strings. We're using the second and third fret and the open, open string. So it's open twice, then the second and open, third and open, second and open. Now the only thing you need to do with your slide is not hit this string. And if you angled it up a bit so that you're actually muting back here, uh, so this string isn't making any sound, or you mute with your right hand, then it sounds very clean. Also, there's quite a few variations of that. Sometimes they don't go to the third fret, just to the second. This is usually called a G5 chord. This can be called a G6 chord. This can be called a G7 chord. Sometimes, and on the lyric sheet where they have the chords written out, you'll see that actually written like that G5, G6, G5, G6. And that means. Now, most songs have three chords, not all, but most. And this would be the one chord, like we like to call it, with a zero fret. The next most common chord would be a C which is the four chord, which is on the fifth fret, and D, which is on the seventh fret. Now D chord can also be played over here using the D string and the second fret of the first string. So that's your D5 chord. So you can do the rock and roll rhythm here as well with the three note one. Change the rhythm there just to show a different example. When you come to the C chord, however, or the four chord, you don't really have those choices. So the best thing to do there is just maintain the rhythm. Like that and sort of fake it. This also works for a slow blues. If you're doing it slow enough, something like uh, You Shook Me by Led Zeppelin, let's say. It is possible to do it on the four chord. we do when we go up to the four chord there we sort of fake it first chords okay and then the second one that's okay and then instead of going all the way back here you can but if you don't have quite enough time you can just mute that string and then hit those last two chords anyway I hope that helps you out with the Chuck Berry 50s rock and roll thing Have some fun with that. Bye-bye.